Hi, I'm Jonathan with Nimblehost, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to our Waterfall plugin for Rapweaver. Now the story for Waterfall actually goes back a few years when I took a look at, at what was available and I noticed that uh, most Rapid Weaver plugins and pretty much all third-party stacks, you could easily see what version you had installed. If there was an update available, it was very easy to, to see that one was available and you could choose whether or not to install it. And I noticed that there was nothing like that for Rapid Weaver themes. Now fast forward a, a little bit and the catalyst for me personally was actually after we took over the Say Design brand and we decided to make a change to all the Say Design themes that would require, unfortunately, that theme owners upgrade to the latest version. Now, in this process, uh, I noticed that there were a lot of pain points for our customers, and that meant a lot of pain for me personally, um, because a lot of people wouldn't easily be able to see what version of a theme they had installed. Uh, some theme developers had the version number written right there where you could see it, but others didn't and sometimes the version number didn't match exactly and there was no easy way to tell if they had the latest version, if there's an update available and then installing it was a whole other issue entirely and I realized that there had to be a better way. We, there had to be some sort of way that we could make this easier for people. So that's when we decided to make Waterfall. And with Waterfall it's expressly designed so that this information is very easy to access. Uh, you add a waterfall page to your project. It lists all the third-party themes you have installed. You can see very easily which versions you have. If there's an update available, you can easily install it there um, with waterfall-enabled themes, of which there are a good many already. And we just wanted to make this process as quick, easy, painless as possible. And so with waterfall, you can do all of that. You can see what version you have. You can see if there's an update available. You can install it right there if you want. And not only does it do that for you, but it automatically backs up the current version of your theme so that you don't have to worry about losing uh, custom header images or custom CSS. It's all saved in a backups folder. You can access it later if you need to. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We've got a lot more stuff planned for Waterfall to make it easier for people to use and to make it easier for them to do things that they want to be able to do in RapidWeaver. Uh, when they upgrade their themes that right now are just really difficult to do. So let's head on over to my computer. I'll give you a quick walkthrough and uh, then we'll come back. So we're at my computer here and you can see that we've got a brand new Rapweaver 6 project file open with no pages. We also have the waterfall product file, download file actually, here on the desktop. To install waterfall we're going to just double click on the download file and you'll be shown a window similar to this, something like this. And you'll notice that we have two versions actually of Waterfall. The dot Rapweaver plugin version is for Rapweaver 6, and the dot RW plugin version is for Rapweaver 5. Now you should be able to install these simply by double clicking on them, but if for whatever reason you have difficulty with that, you can simply drag and drop the plugin directly onto the Rapweaver app icon itself uh, without any issues. Now we already have uh, Waterfall installed on this computer so I'm going to skip this step and uh, let's jump right in. So the first step is to add a Waterfall page to your project. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you'll notice that we've got the list of themes here and you can see in the update status column that we're actually going through and checking each one. And we've got quite a bit of information here to go through. So the first thing you'll see is we've got the theme name here on the left. We've got the current version listed here. We've got the developer here, and then we've got the update status. And yours may or may not look similar to this depending on uh, how many themes you have installed and who they're from. Um, the first thing you'll note is that we've got these items here, you know, uh, remote version information is not available. Now you'll note actually that we've got two copies of black and white. One is 5.4 and one is 6.0. And uh, the reason why this is showing not information or excuse me, no information available on this one is, is because um, Waterfall requires uh, certain pieces of information in order to check for updates for you. And uh, Will has supported Waterfall from the beginning, and uh, 5.4 is an older version of the theme, um, and he's built in compatibility for Waterfall off the bat, and that's why 6.0 is showing 
uh, that you've got the latest version and this one is, is not because it's an older version of the theme before Waterfall was even available. So if you're running into this issue, my first suggestion would be to contact your theme developer and ask them if you can get the latest version. And you might even want to double check and make sure that they uh, uh, build Waterfall compatible themes because there are still some developers who don't at this point. And the best way for them to uh, see that there's a need for that is uh, for customers to request it. For example, I know Joe um, is working, I know right now, on an update to Foundation, which is going to include Waterfall support. So the important thing is just to make sure you've got the latest version. And if you're having any issues with that, just to contact the theme developer and make sure you've, you've got the latest version installed so that Waterfall can do the rest for you from here on out. Uh, I can see we've, we've got an update here for one of Hank's themes. That's great. He's always pushing out updates, which is fantastic. And I'm actually going to go through and walk you through the update process with a the Nimblehost theme. Now, before we actually do this, I'm going to go ahead over here and open up a Finder window. And uh, so just so you can see kind of the mechanics of what's going on behind the scenes. So we've got the Mirage theme right here. And uh, you take a note of this uh, timestamp. Note that it's September 2014. And if I open up the Get Info window, actually you can see here that it's showing that the version is 3.1.2. And of course, that's what Waterfall is recording. You know, 3.1.2, that's the version number. And again, the timestamp is uh, September 2014. So this is going to change, actually, uh, to a newer date uh, when Waterfall installs it. So just so that you can keep that in mind. Now, when you want to install a theme, you simply select it in the table here. And then you click on this Install Selected Update button. And you'll see the progress bar here is going to fill up. And you'll see a text description here kind of describing what's going on behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and click that now and you'll see the description and the downloading and what it's actually doing. And if we actually go over here to the uh, Finder again, uh, you'll note that Mirage now, the timestamp is, is recent as of this video recording, January 14th. And if we scroll down here a little bit, you notice we've got a backups folder in the waterfall directory, and we've got the Mirage theme right there, and it's that same timestamp. So this is the theme that's been saved as a backup for you. We've got a timestamp appended to the file right here so you can see exactly when it was up updated and you can access those files in here if need be if you have any custom header images or things of that nature. So uh, hopefully that gives you a quick overview of not only the information that a waterfall provides you with but how easy it is to actually go through and and see that you have the latest version and to install an update. And again we've got the theme name here, we've got the version number here, we've got the developer and you, you might be surprised but occasionally when you do get support questions where a customer will contact us about a theme that's actually made by someone else entirely. And so that's an easy way here. You can see you know, who the developer is exactly, who you need to contact for, for help if you're having any issues with your theme. So the only other thing I would probably recommend, uh, you're welcome to keep this Rapid Weaver, or excuse me, this waterfall page in your project. Um, I would suggest, however, that you open up the page inspector and you uncheck this show and navigation option. That way, it, the waterfall page, because it doesn't create any content for your site, um, that way it won't show up in your, your main site navigation. And you can keep it in your project file if you want. Of course, you can remove it if you want, add it to another project file. It doesn't make a difference. Um, it's going to present the information for you in the same manner. So uh, hopefully this uh, gives you a uh, quick introduction to waterfall and the information it provides you and how easy it is to actually update themes. And uh, I hope it really helps your workflow with Rapid Weaver and makes your life a lot easier. Thanks very much. So I hope that gives you a quick uh, overview of Waterfall and what it can do currently. Like I said, we've got a lot more planned with uh, Waterfall and the functionality we plan on building into it. Um, but this is just the tip of the iceberg, and I really hope that it helps make your uh, workflow with Rapid Weaver much, much easier. There's a free demo version available for both Rap Weaver 5 and Rap Weaver 6. Um, if you never use the theme update functionality, you can still use it forever free of charge. You can see quickly and easily what version of a theme you have installed. And again, that's free. You can use it however long you want. And if you want to be able to update your themes quickly and easily, there's a five free updates you can do. And if you find it of use, then it would be great if you'd purchase a, 
a license from us so that we can continue the development for Waterfall and make it even better. So uh, I hope this gives you a good overview of what Waterfall is and what it can do right now. And uh, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you.